Hi. Hi all. Hi. Um, we have received a lot of feedback from you after last week's video. We have also talked to many people off and online and we have evaluated all your comments and we will talk about this in this video. So, so let's get started. Yep, let's do that. Wow, pumpkins, that's a hell of a job to settle there. I'm six years your elder, but even at 60, I would think it a massive challenge to make it a comfortable and attractive living space, let alone something like a camper site. Well, it would be indeed be a massive challenge. But then again, it would be the only thing that we would do. And the only thing we do have is time. It will be more than a full-time job for us, yeah. And the camper site is just a thought experiment to try to make some money in the future. We are not even sure if we will get a permit for it. No. I am, however, convinced that people would come up there because a 30 minutes drive up the mountain, there is another camper site in Pontinvrea. And the view from our camper site would be the best ever. It would be good for local tourism too. Mm -hmm. The older you get, the less you dig low temperatures, believe me. We have many discussions about the temperature and how nice it would be when it's always 20 or 24 degrees Celsius year around. But then we would have to move to Bonaire, Curaçao or Aruba. That's far-fetched. That's too far-fetched, yeah. Um, also, we have concluded that you can protect yourself better from low temperatures than from high temperatures. People that we have talked to here say in summer it gets too hot. Sickening, deafening hotness. So hot, you can't think. With cold temperatures, you can at least be outside and enjoy the winter climate. Okay, cold is also not very comfortable, but you can protect yourself better from the cold than from the heat. Unless you want to stay inside the whole summer under your air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And loneliness? I think that would worry me. I honestly think I can be by myself for a long time. I'm a bit strange, maybe a bit autistic. But I can also interact fairly easily. But at the same time, I can be perfectly fine on my own. I don't like the cold. During my Hashimoto, I have a lot of pain in my joints and I feel uncomfortable with cold temperature. I don't like being too lonely either. I like to walk to the nearby shop every day, a place where I can see people and maybe overcome the language barrier. I would also have liked to have the sea close by, but houses with land near to the sea are too expensive. Yes, this house is definitely more a Jacob preference. But I will surely go for Italy, peace and nature with the sea nearby. And I'm sure you thought about getting around in winter when there's snow, can you even get there or be able to leave? We do not know if we would be able to get out of our land in the winter. Probably not. That's a lovely spread, for sure. Might be a bit much for a couple of artsy seniors. What's the goal? <laughs> Might be too much for a couple of artsy seniors. Maybe so. But one of the goal is would be to give back to nature what we stole. We have a dream of replanting a forest to give the earth back one alveoli we stole from our pollutive existence. The other goal would be to create a fertile, rich and species diverse garden of Eden. Third goal is, of course, being self-sufficient and self-contained. Remember, we're on track for full climate collapse in 10 years. If what you say is true, and we are indeed on the verge of a climate collapse, where better to be on top of a mountain? What I think I picked up in your search is near the ocean. Mild climate, some green to be able to grow veggies, fruits, etc. That Maggie can swim in the ocean. Not too isolated, but still have privacy. We think we have made too many demands, at least too many for our budget. Near the ocean, with a mild climate, with a large food providing garden, at the edge of a town, impossible to find. Unless you can spend a million, which we don't have. No. Age is important, but everyone is different. Only you can see how much work you're able to do. 
San Bernardo is our last. It has everything property. Only two things are very real and cannot be underestimated. Difficult to reach and far from the city. But then again, most properties we have visited are indeed quite impossible to reach for us Dutch flatlanders. Far, far up the hill, really long and unstable, unreachable and even dangerous dirt roads, steep cliffs, we have seen it all. More house, more cleaning, more land, more working. We have thought about splitting it into half, buy a small apartment in a big town and buy some land for allotment work. What is your goal? Make money? Working hard or more relaxed? And the goal, we would indeed also be making some money. We stopped working commercially, but we haven't stopped working on our personal developments. So making money passively with a camper spot does seem like a good way. Don't need huge land to grow your own and still have diversity. Making money off the land is a project that will take many years. Living off the land can be quite easily worked out, albeit it is a lot of work. Why move away from Netherlands to snow in Italy? Why move away from the Netherlands to snow in Italy? Mm -hmm. Well, they say the climate is still much better when even in the winter. Winters are much less damp for us Dutch. Italian winters are easier to digest. They are. Look, you don't have a driver's license. What if Maggie squeaks out too early? Of course, I hope this lasts another 40 years. Yeah, indeed. It is a doom scenario we have often discussed. Not only what if Maggie drops out early, but what if something bad would happen to her? How would I be able to get her to the hospital? But then again, also in Italy are ambulances and helicopters that transport patients and taxis can also be called. Suppose you go to get your groceries by bike. No. As far as going for groceries by bike, obviously no, impossible. But on the sunny side, I am working on my motorbike license, so I can at least drive an Appi. And a lot of people here in Italy drive for at least 30 minutes to get to the supermarket. You usually see them with carloads full of groceries for one week medium. The supermarkets here are also very well adapted to this. Raw materials you buy by the kilos. Mm -hmm. And hey, you retired at the age of 60, and that had a very clear message. I had a clear vision of not working myself to death in my chair in the studio. Well, but that's not going to happen, isn't it? We have had one hell of a year. We have had more adventures than all the 35 years in the chair combined. I'd rather die on top of a mountain working on my vision than miserable in the city. Think not twice, but many times more. Do you think more than twice? We will. Ask yourself what you want in these last decades of life. Permaculture. Beautiful. But only with the two of us. Permaculture and no dig garden are very high on our list of things we would like to do for a living for the remainder of our life. The joy of planting a lot of different species of plants, watching them grow, watching the whole ecosystem thrive, that is truly something worth living for. And in case of medical emergencies, treatment required, etc. For two. Medical emergency, indeed, that is a problem. In the Netherlands, you can be inside the hospital within 45 minutes. That is different in Italy. But that it's not val only valid for San Bernardo, but practically the whole country. Save maybe the big villages. You also looked at the marketability and the language. Unsellable is not very high on our list. The only thing is that Italians are not interested in these kind of properties. Although, after Covid, the youngsters are leaving the city. And about the language, we are learning every day, but it is proceeding slower than we want. Getting a knowledge isn't as easy as it used to be. If I was still alone, I would like that. I can be alone. Can Maggie do that too? If I were still alone, I would like that. You hit the hammer on the nail. I can be alone too, but I am afraid that Maggie will get lonely. 
the nearby village was completely abandoned and even sludged into the abyss. So there was no interest at all in living there. The hamlet that was sludged into the abyss, those were different times. You can clearly see a movement towards self-sufficient and self-containment under the youngsters. Someone could have bought an entire village there for one euro. Some villages have been sale for one euro, but what they don't tell you is that this deal comes with an obligation to renovate the estate. Yeah. The essence for me is a beautiful inside. How well insulated is the house? How cold is it inside in winter? How comfortable? The comfortability of the house will be, of course, top priority. It has to be comfortable, modern and well insulated. How much work goes into maintaining it? It will be a lot of work maintaining the property. It will cost us all our time. How much money it will cost, we don't know. No, but we have spoken to my sister who has an estate in Spain with some land. And she claims that all the money goes into maintaining her property. So that's a fact we will need to take into consideration and investigate. Or can you let nature be without it becoming overgrown? Well, you can let the land be the land and do nothing about it. There is no obligation as far as we know. What did the previous owners do? The previous owners had some cattle. They probably used the flat land for hay and the forest for selling wood. But we are not sure. There is really very little to be found about them. Judging from the amount of toys lying on the ground, it was a big family. The property is currently owned by an elderly lady. I'm watching your movie right now. No, please don't. Really do not do that, Maggie. I envision the shining. You need people, color, life, sea, sun, music, love, fun. Yeah, the shining. <laughs> that gives it a loud laugh. Yeah, yeah. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> well, um, um, I don't think I have this in me. I do have some access, however. Uh, but seriously, uh, <clears throat> nobody wants to see Maggie's soul being destroyed, of course. And like we said, we also had a long conversation with my sister, who has some land in Spain. She says, don't do it. You'll be a slave to your land. Also, your land will be a bottomless pit money-wise. All your money will be poured into this land. Also, who gives about your view? I can show you a million mesmerizing places you can watch. Doesn't need to be yours in order to enjoy it. And we had also a long conversation with our Italian gurus, Giovanni and Hermeline. They say also, don't do it yet. Be patient, it will come. So, here you have it. No one has said anything positive about it, mm. almost. Oh, no, but everyone thinks it's a bad idea. So we have decided. Yeah. With pain in our hearts, we have abandoned the idea of San Bernardo. It will be too much work. We are too old. It is just too impractical. We will not do this. But we will continue our journey. We still have plenty of other plots we need to see. Our search is not over. There is still so much we can see. Thanks everyone for your compassion. Thanks. This has really helped us a lot. It has put us with both feet on the ground. We know better now where we stand. Yeah. Okay, bye for now. See you next time. Um, we still have many stories to tell. Bye. Bye. How does it feel to
So we have decided. We're going to do it anyways. <laughs>